What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. In today's video, we're going to talk about what is going on on Test Live, and we are going to focus on the thrall nerfs that are happening. So, rebalance followers' HP and damage across the board, reduced HP gain by an average of 33%. Some high tier followers received an additional 16% reduction on these base values. Reduced melee damage by an average of 40%, reduced range damage by an average of 30%. So what does that all mean when we take it to the game? And I have my own thoughts and feelings about this patch. However, I'm going to leave those out of this video and I am just going to show you exactly what's going on in the game. Now, this video did take a bit of work to get put together, jumping back and forth between the live version and the test live version and transferring saves. But basically what I have for you today is three different thralls. We have a legacy thrall, we have a live thrall, and we have a test live thrall. Now, these are all Sumerian Berserkers, and let's jump into some of the stats. So you can see 15 plus 9 there. I don't know if that's going to affect it at all, uh, but we have level 0 with a maxed out. So we know that's a Legacy Thrall. Moving over to the Live Thrall, and you can see their health there. Now, their health for the Thrall that I placed in Test Live has actually gone down from the health that he had when he was in the Live version. But you can see we have 54 strength on this Thrall. And if we have him follow and get his melee damage modifier, it is 3.92. So, I don't know if that's intended for them to keep their melee damage modifier after this patch comes out, or if that's currently just an issue they have on Test Live. I will continue to cover that uh, in videos as we move forward. Now, if you remember when I was looking at the Live Thrall, it had 7,162 hit points. As you could see, when it was on the live version of the game, it had 10,598. That's a deduction of 3,436 hit points. And then last but not least, we have the Test Live Thrall. And I did change his strength so that it was also 54 uh, in strength so that we can see the difference between the Test Live Thrall and the Live Thrall. Uh, but here's his damage modifier at 2.24. So now that you have all their stats, let's jump into the testing and I'm going to just have each one of them kill the brute and I am going to time how long that takes. Now we're going to start with the thrall that I spawned in in test live and we're going to see just how long it takes for him to kill the brute as it stands right now. So as that ticks up, I want to know in the comment section which one's going to be the fastest. Is it going to be the test live? Is it going to be the live or is it going to be the legacy thrall? Which one is going to kill the brute fastest? That's what you need to put in the comments right now. So we are at a minute 50 and I did speed this up just so that uh, you know you guys don't need to waste a whole lot of time uh, doing this. I spent uh, quite a bit of time, about three days, uh, figuring this all out, uh, double checking and testing and different things. So two minutes, 46 seconds on that thrall. Now the next one that I'm gonna test is the thrall that I spawned in in the live version of the game and we will see just where he ends up as far as time and the difference in time that we have between the test live version and the live version. So as you can see, he is cranking right along and we are going to end up right at a minute 24. Now here we are with the legacy version of the Thrall. This is the Thrall that we had before the leveling system was implemented in the game. Now I can't remember for sure whether there was a lot of complaining about Thralls being OP prior to the followers leveling system. However, if you guys guessed that the legacy Thrall was going to be the fastest, you are absolutely correct. Now keep in mind, this Thrall was put on the Wheel of Pain, spun on the Wheel of Pain, pulled off and placed, and he came out just like this. There was no time spent leveling him up, getting perks, anything like that. This is exactly the way this Thrall was, with absolutely zero investment in time. Now for me, that's a little bit crazy, to be totally honest with you guys, because... 
We now spend so much time leveling our thralls across the board and to have a product come out of the wheel of pain that we have to level that is absolutely worse than what we had last year just doesn't make any sense to me. I really feel like we are not looking at uh, this objectively and that we just have a lot of feelings floating around and not factual actual proof of what's going on in the game today versus the road that we've come down right so there you go minute 20 it's only four seconds faster but again i spend zero time leveling this thrall now for those of you that are going to tell me legacy thrall with uh, points and stuff is uh not not correct um that's perfectly fine. Maybe it's not. Maybe there's something going on with that. So I have this video for you. This is from 826 of 2019. This is a Tefts Live, and this is a Sumerian Berserker killing the Brute with a Sword of Crom. Now, this video is uploaded on my channel. I'll go ahead and link it in the top right-hand corner of this video so you can check it out for yourself. But this is the fastest time that I have recorded for killing the uh, Brute, and that's a total of 37 seconds so you guys cannot tell me that they were not powerful prior to the followers leveling system and unfortunately that leaves me feeling like the last couple of patches that we've got are just uh, gone like they're just thrown in the trash and the time that we spent leveling is just kind of thrown in the trash as well now I do not envy Funcom being in this position uh, obviously as you can see we've gotten nerfs uh, over the last year and we didn't know about them they were packaged a little bit different we didn't recognize that it was a nerf however uh, they've come straight out and said it's a nerf this time and honestly, that's garnered them a lot of hate on the forums. I actually uh, have to take a break from the forums, guys, because the community is hostile and toxic to each other right now. Uh, we're not paying attention to uh, each other's side and opinion. And uh, that just means that we're divided. And when we're divided, we can't make an, any effective change, honestly, guys. However, I would say that your opinion probably needs to be heard. And so I would urge you to go over to the forums. Don't be hostile. Be helpful, be respectful, try to let them know exactly what you're seeing, the way this is going to change your gameplay style, and uh, be a part of the conversation over there. Again, please, please, please uh, don't get into a fight. It's just stupid, guys. Uh, we all play this game. We love this game. We love it for different reasons. We should voice those opinions, respect each other's opinions, and move on. Hopefully we get a better product out of it at the end of the day. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. I'll catch you next time. Peace. I'd like to give a big shout out to all my YouTube members. Y'all are absolute legends. Thank you to all my subscribers for your continued support, likes, comments, and general awesomeness. If you're not subscribed, you can start your free trial today and cancel at any time. Clicking the bell is highly recommended so you don't miss out on my next upload. There's a couple of videos on the screen. You can follow me over there to continue the conversation.